What's up guys, so this is another video of my modeling series. Today we're going to put some of the, you know, things I've taught you into practice and actually make a kind of nut, well, more like a, like a screw. We're going to make a screw. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to implement the tools I've taught you and uh, create that screw. So yeah, let, let's get straight into it. We're going to add a... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Add a cogwheel. Go into your plane. Put an X Z. So this, or you can just click rotate and then turn it. Um, you can play around with the the radiuses, but I'm just gonna keep it standard. Uh, you can. There are three different radiuses you can use, so just play around with those. Um, let's now insert an extrude nerb. So I've got a little shortcut here. Or you can go into your NURBS palette and click Extrude NURBS. So yeah, make a cogwheel a uh, child of the Extrude NURBS. And now click on your, now if you can see on the Extrude NURBS, it looks, it's kind of, um, oops. It's, uh, here, here it's kind of like extruded it on the Z axis, as you can see here, X, Y, Z. That's the way it works. Um, so you want to click zero. As you can see, it goes back to normal. Now, so to give it some height, you want to push up in the Y direction, as you can see here on the yellow, in the, sorry, in the green line. Uh, it says Y, and Z's there, and X is there. So, Y is X, Y, Z. So now you can pull it up, give it about that height. Um, now, let's just, you know, for, for sake for render purposes like if this was a proper project it'd be better to have higher subdivisions so let's keep it to about 13 14 um, now let's go into your deformer palette and add a twist tool well Tw twist deformer that's what it's actually called and make this also apparent to the extrude nerves and if you put it on top of the cogwheel nothing actually happens it kind of reverses the process. So you want to make sure it's still a child of the extrude nerves, but under the cogwheel. And as you can see, nothing's happened so far, but you want to increase the size of the twist deformer, the kind of area, so it's bigger than the radius of the tool. So let's just make it there, so you, until you can see the pink lines, because that means it's gone outside the actual um, kind of area of the screw. So now make it quite long, so it covers the whole object. And the key tool, the key option in the twist tool, twist deformer, is this angle. So as you can see, as it increases, it twists it. And it creates this interesting, um, this kind of the interesting shape of a screw. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look like a screw much right now because the number of teeth it has is a, bit, a little bit much. We're going to decrease it to about 11. This kind of looks like one of those heavy-duty screws, which some of you may have used. Uh, but, yeah. So, as it, all, all screws, they need their, um, their actual top. So, well, let's just create that quickly. We want to go into the, um, no, not that one. We want to go into the, let's add, at first actually add an extrude nerves. Go back into your spleen kind of area and now find the, po the polygon object, a polygon spleen, which is called the end side. Um, and make this a child of the extrude nerve, extrude nerves. Uh, I'm really tired. I think it's what 121 in the morning right now when I'm recording uh, So yes, I'm a little bit tired but um, Yeah, anyway Besides the point uh, Click on your inside and make this on the XZ plane and now back on your extrude nerves make this zero Now increase the X mm, Maybe a little bit more this obviously depends on the, the size of the actual body of the screw you've uh, decided. Now, now that we've got the depth 
of the head correct, we can go into back into the end side object, increase the radius so the head is correct. And as as you can see, it's already centralized because we created the twist, the original object bang in the center. So let's just dump this on top. This is looking all right. It's obviously not perfect. This is just, you know, tutorial sake. Um, that's a bit better. Yeah. And then obviously you can we can uh, add a bevel tool or right, let's just check um, should I do it um, uh, yeah why not actually yeah it's a bit, it's a bit long sorry uh, and it's pretty basic you just add you just insert this bool and then you you'll place this object here well you you first actually why not let's do it <laughs> um, Let's go into the bool. Let's get a torus. And let's rotate this torus about 90 degrees. Well, exactly 90 degrees actually. Now it's going to right now it's going to create a little too big of a hole. So we want to make sure we decrease the ring radius and the pi actual actually the pipe radius keep the ring radius big um, yeah about here and pipe radius about there and first insert the torus oops and there, uh, actually on top, and as you can see, it's actually worked out so that the where is that? Yeah, the torus. Let's just pull up a little bit more. Oops, out of the cube. As you can see, it's kind of created an indent of the where you put the screw. Obviously, it's not perfect, it still needs some work. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the basics of what I'm what I was trying to show you. Uh, so it's a little bit of everything for you guys today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and obviously, and you could always um, kind of thin the end, the radius of the end of the nail or whatever you want to call it screw. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to this channel, my tech channel, which is on on the screen right now. The link to that. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, favorite this video, do whatever the hell you want. Um, just you know, also follow me on Twitter if you haven't already because I'm always on Twitter. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.